Oh, it's about time. Full Power Magicians. Fully complete and ready. I'll be showcasing you guys right now my updated Full Power Best Way to Play Magicians on Master Duel. This deck is insane. Absolutely complete. And I'll show you guys everything you need to know about going first, about going second, about breaking boards. And don't worry, if you don't know what a Pendulum Summon even is, I got you. So if you guys are ready for this video, I want you guys to smash the subscribe button. I want you guys to smash the like button. I want you guys to go to TripGaming.com and get the best payments in the game. I want you guys to go on Patreon to get the best training in the game. And lastly, I want you guys to enjoy this video. Because Pen Best Deck, let's go. YouTube! What's up, everyone? Today's YouTube video, I'll be showcasing you guys my full-powered, complete Magician Turbo, Electrum Astrograph Turbo. This deck heavily relies on Electromite and then copying the effect Electromite with Supreme King Starring Venom, copying it and going Extreme Turbo, ending on a board, which I will show you guys a combo tour at the end of this video. So make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video. The combo ends on Electrum. We resolve Starring Venom twice. Then the two Starring Venoms go into Harbinger. We also get a Vortex Dragon out of it because Astrograph we get at the very end. The end board is going to be Appaloosa for three, Harbinger, Pangraph, and Vortex. And then Harbinger protects Appaloosa from being attacked. So it comes full circle. So when your opponent tries to enter battle phase to attack that Appaloosa, they can't because Harbinger protects that Appaloosa. Henceforth, all three of the Appaloosa effects are going to resolve. So you end on a six negate board easily. Let's go. So now I'm going to explain everything in depth, why we play the main deck, why we play the extra deck, and everything. First things first. We play two level 7s on the deck. One Astrograph, one Dragon Bay. This is Astrograph Turbo. The reason why this is Astrograph Turbo is the same reason why we don't play Desires. We try and use Astrograph with Wisdom Eye every single turn multiple times. We, that's why Pensorg is at 3, Curtain Razor is at 3. That's why even Purple Poison's at 2. Because going second, you try and get Electrum to pop the Poison, to pop the Astro to add another Poison. You're clearing boards like nothing. So as long as your opponent doesn't end on some crazy VFD bullshit, you're going to absolutely destroy them. You're going to notice there's no maxi. So, the, we built this deck extreme, extreme, extreme turbo with a crazy follow-up because of how the magicians are structured. So, this deck truly is insane, but if you played maxi, like, your opponent is not going to respect maxi. Let's say you're going first. Let's say you're going second, okay? You ma you, you put up a... Let's maxi... Maxi kind of bricks you because it's not a card you can pen summon. You, you hit them with maxi. You're playing pendulums. They know for a fact there's no Nibiru, there's no Valor, there's no Ash. They're going to go off. They're going to not give a fuck about the Maxi and still put up a massive board. That's why I highly advise don't play it. This is a pricey deck. Yes, this is a pretty expensive deck. As you see by all the staples, draw cards you're playing. And the whole extra deck is expensive. I showcased a budget version of this deck where you could spend $0. I spent $40 to build my budget version. You guys could build, get $0 free to play. You could play my Pendulum deck that I already posted. So go check that out. But if you guys don't care about money, if you're like me and own 17 Teslas like Sam... Then, this is the video. I'm going to explain the deck list in depth now. Let's go. So, first things first. Dragon Pit, Triple Pensork. Pensork is amazing in this deck because Joker is a huge part of this whole deck. It's a huge part of it. You want to make sure you got the engine of Sork, Joker every single turn. Rolling in and out, in and out. You want to Sork in that deck always to ensure you always get the Joker. Multitude of reasons. Who is the Mind Joker? It's the idea of this deck. When Electromite sends Astrograph and you go Astrograph, Wisdom Eye. Continually, continually, continually looping the Astrograph for Wisdom Eye three times. For curtain raiser, for Sork, for poison, for Oath, it's very mandatory. Uh, double Harmo, that's all you got. One double Iris. This does stop the deck slightly. Uh, and as you guys can tell, there's no Needle Fiber. We're not playing a Tuning Magician engine. We don't need it. We, re I, we really don't need it. Trust me. The the start Going for Starting Venom gives you way more plus at the end. Uh, it's just amazing. Uh, triple Curtain Razor is the best extender. Dark Urban Gate Zero are actually bricks. I'm not even joking when I tell you this. Because if you're going to play two Shrines and a Dark Urban Gate Zero... Your Dark Orb, you're going to draw, the Shrines are dead. I know you can play Distrudo, but it doesn't work with the pen strategy of Electromite. We're trying to utilize Electromite and Starving Venom as much as possible, because it's so, so, so broken together. Curtain Razor is just a guaranteed extender. The fact that it's level 4 is also very important. Uh, you have a bunch of level 4s in the deck, which is why, against, uh, against Maxi, let's say we get hit with Maxi, it's totally okay. If we get hit with Maxi, we just go Baguska, Pengraph, that's it. You set up Baguska and Pengraph, and you just sit there. You can draw two cards. They're not playing through Baguska Pengraph with two cards drawn. So you'll be fine. Uh, one Celestial, three Oaf. Oaf is the only low scale you want. The deck is completely perfect in terms of how many low scales you play and how many high scales you play. It's completely balanced, as all things should be. Shout out Thanos. 
Next, we're going to play one Astro, which the whole deck is revolved around, and then nine draw cards. You're playing a 31 card deck. Because you're playing a 31 card deck, actually 28 card deck, because the Lions gets Pen Call, slash Sword, slash Iris, you're playing a 28 card deck. You're guaranteed to have your Wisdom Eye, your Joker, your Sword. As long as your Wisdom Eye is in rotation, the duel's over. First or second. This deck clears four interruptions like nothing. Uh, then one, st one of each pen graph. We don't play Desires because if you banish two Desire, two uh, Wisdom, even one Wisdom, Astrograph ends up not resolving as it should. And it truly is based on Astrograph and pen graph. So if you banish Astrograph or pen graph, your deck is actually pretty fucked. You don't do much like what you should do. Extra deck. One Vortex, double starting Venom. One Clear Wing. So we built the deck so good going first. Like the board is so good going first. Which is why we play for going second. We want all these draw cards to make sure we, if you, as long as you have access to Wisdom Mind the Scale with Ulf or Pit or whatever or Iris, you're clearing boards like nothing. Like nothing. Like nothing. That's why we want to make sure the extra deck is filled with cards that clear boards going second. So cards that clear boards going second are Clear Wing. This card's amazing to clear boards by itself. And uh, Supreme King Dark Dragon as well. Uh, Rebellion. This also destroys all monsters. Because 4,300 attack essentially uh, destroys monsters like nothing. Like nothing. Uh, we got Savage as the backup negate. Once you go Harbinger, Electrum, blah, blah, blah. You want to have something else in the extra deck to put up a negate with. So Savage is like if it's like the next one. It's like the, your backup essentially. Uh, you got one tornado for going second. Baguska is the backup to Max C. It's the only reason it's here. Also against big boards, a lot of big boards that bo uh, uh, decks end up on are uh, like not link negates. So you just go Baguska and then climb into access code and kill them. Uh, you got absolute, and then you got the harbinger for the plate protecting that Balooza. Extra deck, you got the electromite. You need a generic link too. Doesn't need to go downwards because that's your electromite. But the poison, the phoenix is there just generically. Sometimes you need a link with absolute and electrum into something absolute with anything to go into anything so that's phoenix sometimes does come up and then selene appalooza access code deck is absolutely insane little pricey pricey but this is like what if you had if you had every dollar to spend in your, let's say you had you grinded 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 solo mode the first career the first solo mode gives you five thousand gems uh five thousand gems could get you a whole chunk of this deck as well as all the gems you're already given already so that's it for the deck profile. Now I'm going to show you guys the combo tutorial. All right, YouTube. So now I'm going to show you guys the combo tutorial. I'm going to be doing it in solo mode. Just so you guys can see how uninterrupted how the combo goes. It's actually very, very good versus hand traps. Because all the hand traps are basically bait. Like all the hand traps are like, here, uh, hand trap me, bro. Like they're all bait. The only hand trap that does anything is Nibiru. Which does not see much play because you could be facing off against anything. And, of course, Droll does hurt this deck because all the draw cards, but no one plays Droll, so we are golden. We are not going to resolve a lore here. What we're going to do here, we're going to scale the Curtain Razor. There's also much ways you can play around the Nibiru if you want to, but uh, I've opted that we don't really need to. In some situations, we could. In some situations, we make Appaloosa first, and we're fine, but we're not going to do it here. Obviously, we're not going to activate a lore. Don't worry about a lore. You're going to get a dark eventually. So what we're going to do over here is a pretty cool play, okay? So what we're going to do is... Uh, we're going to special these into Electrum, okay? Everyone watch very closely. We're going to go super uh, in-depth. I'm, as I'm doing the combo, you guys are going to be watching it live. I will not be commentating afterwards. I want you guys to see what's going on in my head as I'm doing it. Just so you guys are, like, aware of the combos. So you guys know I'm not planning anything or, or doing anything extra. Every combo is the exact same. We're going to send Astrograph here. Everything's very, very simple. So first things first, we're going to draw the card with dr Electrum's draw card. The effect is mandatory of Electrum to draw. So we're going to send this, bring on double iris. This way... We're going to know, uh, you know, effect activation. This way, we're going to know what we draw, and that could affect our combo. We're going to put up double iris, because double iris is going to be able to get us uh, the pen graphs, electrum effect to draw here. We get pen call. We have two useless cards here. We have two useless cards. This is not good right now for us, but it's totally, totally, totally fine. So what we're going to do now is we're going to activate the effect of electromite. We're going to send double, we're going to pop double iris. Special summoning, acidograph. Uh, effect of this, yes. And then, uh, the fact that double iris activated, chain another card, yes. I'm going to activate Astrograph. So now Astrograph will be able to get us a Wisdom Eye. Double Iris will be able to get us a Pen Graph. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Face up attack. Now I'm going to show you guys something really cool. Add a designated card from your deck to your hand. Yes. Now I'm going to show you guys something really, really cool. Okay? So at this point, you're faced with multiple, multiple choices. Do you activate a Lord? Do you do this? Which Pen Graph do you get? So, uh, this is what I highly advise. So what I highly advise in this situation is we're going to link both Electrum and Astrograph into Selene. 
at this point, if you want to play around Nibiru, you just use Selene to special summon from your hand. And then you go into Appaloosa, and then you continue playing. But, I don't think the best value in this format is to play around Nibiru, because no one plays it. So what I think I'm going to do here, I'm going to go into Star Pendulum Graph. Once I go into Star Pendulum Graph, uh, I'm going to go into Wisdom Eye. Wisdom Eye is going to get me Harmonizing. These two go into Selene. I just special summon Harmo on three monsters. I'm going to specifically special the Double Iris, and I'm going to eventually pop the Double Iris. I know that's kind of a lot of information there, but that's exactly what we're going to do. Kind of outside the box thinking, where despite the fact that Double Iris is at one, we're still going to trigger Double Iris twice. Scale. Something else we could also do is we could go Oaf Dragon to add the Double Iris. So we're going to go Effect of Oaf Dragon here to add the Double Iris. So we're going to activate the effect of Wisdom Eye. We're going to put any single high scale we want here. Harmo or Celestial. Let's go with Celestial. Because Celestial will protect our cards. Activate the effect of Star. Star's going to get us harmonizing. Here we're going to special summon Selene. At this point, if you want to play around Nibiru, this is how you play around Nibiru. You play around Nibiru right here. You play around Nibiru right here. You special summon the double iris, and you make Appaloosa. If they Nibiru you on the special summon of double iris, that's fine. Because you're still going to have harmonizing pen summon plus whatever is from your extra deck. Plus whatever is from your extra deck. Now, I do notice one thing. I look at my extra deck, and I notice that uh, I have uh, Astrograph. I have a bunch of monsters, but I only have two Pendulum Darks. So if I Pendulum 2 Darks and Harmonizing, as well as whatever Harmonizing comes out, and the other monster that comes out from this, so let's, let's say Wisdom Eye. I'm doing some calculations here. So you summon out Pensork. You got to do a lot of math here to make sure what you're doing is perfect. So if we summon out... Uh, let me do some math quickly. So we summon out the set, and then what we're going to do is summon Asagaf, Harmo, Curtain Razor, Special Starving, Special... All right, we're going to have enough. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set the Pendulum Call. And I'm going to Pendulum Summon. If you want to play around Nib, play around Nib. It's, it's very easy. But I literally really don't think it's, it's worth it to do so. We're going to pen these three and this. Face up. We're going to go Chain Link 1 Harmonizing, Chain Link 2 Pensork. Now, over here, uh, maybe we could have... We, maybe you know what the better play was? You should have scaled Harmonizing. If we scaled Harmonizing first, Pensork could have popped both uh, that and this to free up a zone for Double Iris. But Double Iris is going to get popped by Starting Venom anyway, so don't even worry about that. We're going to pop this because our first card we're going to pop is Celestial. Our second card we're going to pop is the second Double Iris. Because we're going to go Starting Venom, Starting Venom. Yes, perfect. So we're going to pop this. A fact is going to get us a Joker. And the harmonizing is going to be special, specifically Dragon Pit. You want a level 7 to sit there at the very end. So we're going to get Dragon Pit. And now you don't go to Vortex right away. You don't go to Vortex right away. You link off Starving Venom. Make sure to link off with the, with the Astrograph. Uh, confirm Astrograph and confirm Harmonizing. So we're going to put these in attack position. At this point, we're going to go Astrograph. Uh, yeah, we're going to use this effect to copy the Electromite in the graveyard. Then we're going to activate the effect, effect activation, pop celestial, effect of that is going to get us astrograph, and then we're going to special summon astrograph, look at how many cards we have in our hand by the way, face up attack, effect, yes, add again, add wisdom eye, alright, our next play, we're going to now make another, starving venom, Again. Yes. Yes. Face up attack. Pen scale. Now we're going to pop this. Cancel. Effect. Pop the double iris. We copy the Electrum another time. Then we pop the double iris. Uh, effect activation. Yes. Pop double iris. The fact of Electromite is activated. Chain another card. No. 
a fact we're gonna get Asagai for another time. But now we're out of pops. We could have actually ended this off with popping Oaf as well. Uh, but sadly, we're not gonna be able to resolve Asagai because we're all out of pops right now. Uh, I could have popped Oaf Dragon instead of Celestial, have a Celestial sit on the field. And that was the better play because that would have given us a, a better board. Uh, so face up attack position. We're gonna act so uh, ideally right now we would have a free Oak Dragon in our hand and a free Celestial in the scale. But that's fine. We get our Pendulum Graph. Now you guys are gonna notice how easy this is to get up in the gates, right? We're gonna special summon at this point. We're gonna put up Harbinger. We're gonna put up Harbinger. We're gonna put all these over here, right at this zone. Once we summon these to this zone, next we're gonna go into Absolute Dragon. And now our job's not finished just yet. We're going to go into Absolute Dragon with, with Asagaf and Dragon Pit. Face up attack. Yes. Alright, let's uh, lower over here to get some value. We don't need this Joker. I would not like to negate that, no. So we're going to banish away the Curtain Razor. At this point, we're going to activate the effect of Selene. Okay, what we have not not used yet. So we're going to use Selene's effect now. So Selene... Remove, 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 remove. We're going to special summon the Wisdom Eye from our hand. Next, we're going to special summon. We're going to make Tornado Dragon. This could be Zodiac Dryden and Zodiac Borbo if you guys would like. Face up defense. Lastly, we're going to now Link Summon with Appaloosa. So we're going to take Selene. We're going to take... Appaloosa. We're going to link some of these. We're going to put Appaloosa here. And Vortex at the far zone. The job's still not done. We're still not done yet. The fact of Absolute Dragon is activated. Chain another card. No, I don't want to pop my own cards. Thank you. We're going to put this in defense at this zone. Next, we're going to scale Purple Poison as the sixth in the gate. And we're going to set Pengraph. So, as everyone sees over here, we should actually have a Celestial Magician also in our hand, but we kind of misplayed a bit. I mean, an Oak Dragon. So, the scale should be Poison and Celestial. Celestial protecting the Monster Zone with the Oak Dragon in our hand. So, right now, we should have an extra plus one, but I made a slight error in that regard. So, now the negates. There's going to be Tornado Dragon, Vortex, Harbinger, Appaloosa twice. Because when they attempt to attack with Appaloosa, Harbinger is going to protect the Appaloosa. So, that's five. And then Pengraph is going to pop for six. And then lastly, Poison... When it pops, it's going to get a second interruption. That's seven interruptions. So as you guys see over here, seven negate, seven interruption pendulums, not allowing your opponent to attack because when they attempt to attack the Appaloosa, Harbinger will protect that attack. Seven interruptions, one for each card, plus one card just for shits and gigs. You can let them open a seventh card for a turn. That's the YouTube video. Hope you guys enjoyed the YouTube video. Make sure to smash the subscribe button. Smash the like button. We literally have two cards in hand as well because we should have an Oaf Dragon in hand with a Celestial on scale. And Celestial protects the whole field from a dark hole, whatever it may be. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to smash the subscribe button. Make sure to smash the like button. Make sure to go on Patreon down below where I show duels like this every single day. Mac Master duel gameplay with Pendulum, Elich, everything. So you like to see more combos with Pendulum. Also make sure to check out the beautiful Pendulum play mats on tripgaming.com hope you guys enjoyed this video we'll see you guys in the next youtube video seven negates baby peace